Hi you guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today I had a really slow start to the day because Christian's sister and husband and niece stayed the night at our house last night and then left this morning so we were with them and so I had a really slow start and then it took me a while to wash my hair I like cleaned the floors wiped off the counters this past week was my birthday I turned 27 and I can't believe it I feel like I'm now starting to look a little bit older I feel like for the longest time I just looked like I was 19 years old. So I'm 27, I went to work and I felt so special on my birthday. I'm new to my office, but the girls there literally made me feel just so special. And I'll insert some clips here of what they did, but they put like balloons by the window and a happy birthday and they all got me a card and signed the card and they just said such nice things. I think my love language is definitely words of affirmation. They just wrote s such nice things on the card, on all of the cards, and they just made me feel really special. And then we had like a healthy hummus party and then there was some champagne. And it was just like a really just special birthday and I felt just just so special i had a really good birthday i had a lot of fun celebrating early last weekend and um yeah i'm really excited for this year i feel like 26 was definitely a huge year of growth and if you guys have been with me since my last birthday i filmed like a work week in my life and on my actual birthday i felt so weird and i didn't feel like myself and i just felt like that was like the turning point of a year of change. And there was just like a lot of change last year, birthday year. Um, I got a job promotion. I traveled on this like amazing, incredible trip. Um, I changed jobs. I just feel like I had a lot of personal growth as well. So I'm just, I'm really excited for 27 and to see like basically what happens during this year. So I'm also just like super into color these days. So I'm wearing this like really hot pink um, top and I just got like an orange phone case. I am just obsessed with orange, literally. I don't even know what it is. It's like, it used to be green, but now orange is just, it's like one of my favorite colors right now. Hold on, Christian's calling me. Hello. Um, Christian's golfing right now. And I really wanted to film a Q&A today, but I don't know if I'm going to get to it today. Maybe I'll sit down and just like make it super casual and answer some questions. And it's finally clearing up a little bit. Um, tonight we're going to see the new Top Gun movie, which I'm so excited about. Are people at the pool? People are screaming. Um, but we're going to go see the new Top Gun movie tonight, which I'm excited about, and then go to dinner before. And yeah. And then tomorrow I'll probably just like vlog a little bit more, but it's literally like four o'clock and I'm just now starting off the vlog and making this intro just so long. Um, I'm waiting on a package to come in. I got some stuff from CB2, some new mugs, because a few weeks ago I cleaned out my cabinet. So I finally got around to ordering some new mugs and cups. So those come today and I'm excited about them arriving and I'll show you when they come in. Um, and then I got a few things from Skims as well. That I'm excited about. I want them to restock their um, fits everybody crop, but they're not <laughs> restocking it, and I'm waiting. So I just got a few other things, and I'll show you guys what I got when um, the CB2 stuff comes in, because it should be here literally any minute. And um, then I'll just show like everything then. But I'm gonna finish up some laundry, and I guess I'll pick up the camera when the CB2 stuff comes to my door. <laughs> Okay, it came in. Okay, I just had to find my phone. But let me show you the skin stuff first because I'm literally, it's incredible. So I got the Boyfriend Collection um, long sleeve tee in Heather Gray. It is so stretchy and soft and comfortable. I want it in every single color. I need it in short sleeve. I got it in a size large and 
it's literally just the softest most comfortable thing I own it's crazy so I'll link everything by the way down below but I got this in a size large it um, I wanted it longer so I could wear it with biker shorts the sleeves are a little bit long so I just rolled them up but I mainly wanted it in a large for the length so I got that and then I also got the um, boyfriend boxer shorts same color gray so it's like a little matching set I probably wouldn't wear this out of the house but I'd definitely wear this out of the house I have these boxer shorts in the cotton ribbed boxer and I don't know if you can see the size difference but they run different sizes. So I got the same size. I got a small in both, but the cotton rib boxer runs, I think smaller. This is like my actual size. It fits my waist really well. This like doesn't fit my waist, but it fits like my legs and butt. It's like a little bit gappy at the waist, um, but they're both a size small, so if you're wanting it to fit a little bit tighter maybe size down if you're doing the boyfriend boxer and you already have the cotton rib boxer because i went off this size but it runs if you can't tell a little bit bigger than like literally like a size or two bigger than the cotton not that and I'm, I'm not going to return it because i obviously don't really care <laughs> that it's like bigger and baggier um it's comfy for bed and i literally sleep in little boxer shorts i have a few pairs of these and then i also just have like hanes um women's boxers that i wear to bed literally every single night so um i don't really care if these are a little bit bigger but i literally highly recommend these i sleep in these live in these um love them and then I got the Fits Everybody bra. I thought this would be just nice to have. I really just, I don't like wearing regular bras. I wear a lot of bralettes. I just prefer to wear bralettes. I feel like way more comfortable in them. So I got this in a small. I'm a size 32B for reference, but yeah. So I'll link everything down below love love i need to take the tags off so i can wash this stuff but i'm just patiently waiting for the fits everybody crops to come in because those would be just so good for summer and i want some of the fits everybody um long sleeves and short sleeves that are full length for work i think those would be just like so nice so easy i wear a lot of basics they're easy to pair with literally everything so I can't wait for that stuff to get restocked because I'll be purchasing it in multiple colors. So let's, let's dig into the CB2 stuff. Okay, I got, I think a total of, maybe I got like eight different cups. The first, ooh, these are bigger than I thought they would be, which is literally perfect. The first ones I got are these, type of mugs i'll link them they're the madeira white mug they're 13 ounces so cute i love the little handle i love the detail just wanted some like new different mugs i love how these are kind of like worn if that makes sense i love these so i got two of those let's see if this is it yeah this is the other one so I just got two of them. These were more expensive. What I love about CB2 and Crate and Barrel in those places is they have a lot of affordable mugs. Like their mugs are, the clear ones that I have are literally $3. They're super affordable, but these were a little bit more pricey, but I mean the detail. So I think these were around 12 or 13 bucks a piece, but I wanted a set. So I just got two of those and they're really decent size mugs. I love that. Okay, so I think these are the other mugs that I got. These are a little bit smaller than I thought, but they're so cute. This is the other 
style that I got. What are these called? The Cantina glass mug. I don't know how big these are. So I got two of those. These were relatively inexpensive as well and they're just perfect. I am kind of steering away from the double insulated mugs because you can't put them in the dishwasher without ruining them. And I just wanted more mugs that I could literally easily throw in the dishwasher and not worry about them getting ruined. Last, I got some just regular glasses. I've been really into iced coffee lately just because, I mean, it's summer, it's hot outside in Florida. It's been hot, honestly, for a while. We really didn't even get a lot of cold days this year. So I got new, um, just plain glassware. I don't have, like, just plain glasses. So I wanted to get these. Um, they kind of, like, go up honestly which i didn't realize i thought they were just like plain glasses but um love them they kind of like go up i don't know if you can tell but so i got four of these because i just i didn't have any plain cups that were just glass and just obviously been into iced coffee i make iced coffee every single day of the work week because i work out in the mornings now if you've missed my previous vlogs i've been working out in the mornings and i make protein coffee so it's iced and it's really yummy so i just got four of those and i'm gonna throw them in the dishwasher i really don't know if you can tell what they look like but yeah so that's a little cb2 haul in the skims haul i'm just waiting for Christian to get home from golf and then we'll go get some dinner. I think we're gonna get some food that's close to the movie theater, which is, I think we're going to the Winter Park Village movie theater and there's a ton of little restaurants around there. next day um i am like racing to go get a pedicure my nails aren't bad but they're they didn't cut them short enough last time so they're just starting to get like a little too long but i'm racing over there and then i'm going to get lunch with taylor and maya at agave azul and then i'm gonna go to trader joe's and stock up i want to film a q a today I didn't film it yesterday and I'm like kicking myself for not doing that but yeah that's the plan for today I'm gonna get a little bit more content than I did yesterday because yesterday like I just failed at literally vlogging but it happens I have those days let's go get our toes done um, this is a new salon it's called tipsy I think they have like a bar in there and you can like pay for a pedicure with like unlimited drinks I'm not sure how it works but it's called Tipsy, and um, I'm going there. I wasn't a fan of the last place, Boutique. It just wasn't that good of a job, so sorry. 
I like had to get my car moving, but um, yeah, we're gonna go. I'll let you know how the nails turn out and what color I end up getting. I have no idea what color I'm gonna get, but I'll keep you updated, but I'm gonna drive there and then um, get that done. I just got out of, okay, no, I got like out of my nail appointment 20 minutes ago. I filmed a Q&A in my car. So I've been sitting in my car and I needed to film that Q&A. So I just got out of the way while I'm waiting for my lunch get together with my friends. Um, I got that orange color that I showed in a clip before this um, at the salon. And I thought it was gonna be a little bit brighter than it is. I'm not like obsessed with it. And it's like, this is what I get for getting color on my toes. <laughs> and I like not sticking to the same colors, but it's fine for now. Um, I wish, I kinda, I, like I almost wanted it to be like the color of this, but it's really not. Anyways, um, filmed that Q and A and now I'm just hanging out waiting for I'm probably about to head over there because it's starting to get closer to my um to the time that we were gonna meet at agave and then i will go to trader joe's and i'll obviously show you what i get from trader joe's when i get home but yeah got my nails done i really like that salon they have like a huge wall of nail polishes gel polishes um it's really clean in there just really enjoyed it so yeah so i'm gonna head to get lunch and I um I guess I will talk to you guys when I get home from Trader Joe's and lunch <laughs> I am home now from Trader Joe's. I'm gonna do a little haul. All right, well, I'll start over here. So I got two of these vegetable stir fry things. Christian and I do like an Asian style ground turkey meal prep for lunches. And I thought this would be so good for the side for a meal prep. So I got two of those. Um, they were out of orange chicken. So I got this barbecue teriyaki chicken. Haven't tried it before but I got it to go with the veggie fried rice. So I'll keep you updated. I really like these as like easy dinners when we obviously want to stay in and save a little bit of money, but not do like a chicken or like a salmon or like something like that. We just want something easy that we can throw together and we have dinner. So I love having these on hand. Got this goat cheese and sun-dried tomato ravioli. If you guys didn't know, I started reintroducing dairy back in, and I honestly think a lot of my digestive issues are and were stress-related, so I'm not gonna get into a lot of detail, but I feel like I was a little bit, or I was like a under a lot of stress. I felt like a few months ago and I put a lot of pressure on myself, so I think it was just me removing something made me think like, oh, this is what it is. So it's almost like a mental thing. So I really think it has to do with a lot of like stress. And so i am been eating dairy. I still like limit it as much as I can, but I have it like here and there. So I got this. I got this Caprese ravioli. This is so good. God, don't need to talk about this again, but this is just incredible, easy dinner. So good, crack an egg and it's like an easy dinner. I saw these and I thought of Christian and I thought he would really like them. He loves like the bao buns and he loves Philly cheesesteaks. So I thought this would be good for him to have as like a snack or just like something fun. Got two sweet potato fries. I got some center cut fillets. These are just the best. If you are wanting to get center cut fillets, Trader Joe's has really good center cut fillets we get all of our fillets from there and they're decently priced for the size and the way that christian cooks them i'm gonna have to get him to show it in a vlog coming up but the way that he cooks them if it's better than a restaurant and for that i'd rather stay in than go out because his are so good got some sweet potato gnocchi 
These buffalo burgers are a really good easy dinner for over salads, stuff like that. They finally had the hash browns the past two times I've gone to Trader Joe's. They haven't had these, so I got two of them. These looked really good, seedless grape medley. I've been like so into fruit lately. I've just been, I know that's not <laughs> anything crazy, but I snack on fruit all the time, like blueberries, pineapple. I'm like snacking on it. It's something that I like crave. And these just sounded so good and crunchy and I just love the variety of them. So I got those, got some chunky guacamole. This artichoke and jalapeno dip, yum. Got, of course, these elote corn chippers, chip dipper. <laughs> Say these wrong like every time. Got some of these grainless tortilla chips. These are just so good. So I got two of those. I got these multi grain crackers with some flour and flax seeds. Thought they sounded good. Got more vegan creamy dill dressing. This is really good with fish. It's almost like kind of like a tartar sauce, but it tastes really good dipping like um, tilapia in. It it's, sounds weird, but it's really good, I promise. Got more seasoning for meal prep. I love this on ground beef. It's so good with like garlic powder and salt. Yum. Got more avocado oil. I needed more spray and we usually get it from Trader Joe's, but they didn't have any spray, but I needed another one of these big ones. Avocado oil is the best oil to cook with. It can reach those really high temperatures and it doesn't become like a toxic oil, if that makes sense. Do some like research and look it up online, but I promise this is like the healthiest oil. It's better than olive oil. Olive oil is meant to be eaten actually at like a low temperature. So the smoke point of this is a lot higher. Got some, I mean, ginger shots, wellness shots. I mean, I do have the Kickstart wellness um, shots, but I mean, I can't go to Trader Joe's and not pick some of these up. So I got those. And Christian was obsessed with these yogurts um, like last year. And he hasn't gone with me the past few times to Trader Joe's and I haven't picked any up. So I decided to pick some up for him just as like a, like a snack to bring with him on the road or something. He works and is in his car all day, so he could like pack like a bag of ice or like an ice pack and put this in there and like bring a spoon and have a little snack while he's out on the road. So I got a few flavors, blueberry, mango, black raspberry, and strawberry. So that's the haul. I'm gonna put this stuff away. I'm probably gonna have some of these because they sound so good. And, um, yeah, I don't really have any plans for the rest of the day. I need to break down some boxes in there and finish doing some laundry. That's about it. but I got some more stuff from Bala. I don't even know if I showed what I originally got, but let me grab it. So I started doing um, matte Pilates more. I've shared like some of the workouts that I've done, but I've switched from more of like a weight style to more of like a lean lengthening Pilates, matte Pilates um, workout. So I got a ball, it's kind of like super not necessary to buy it from this brand. I could have totally gone to TJ Maxx or Target and got like a random Pilates ball, but I just like wanted everything to like flow together. So I got a ball of ball. It came before the rest of this stuff, but a lot of the workouts can totally be done with your own body weight. I just want a little bit of resistance training and a little bit of weighted stuff, but they are like light weights. Is there something on my lens? So I ordered some stuff they were doing, like a little sale. And I think if you bundle some of their weights and stuff, it's cheaper to bundle. So I got the rest of my stuff, which I'm really excited about. They're all like this color nude. I'll link everything that I got down below. Um, I do the Tasha Franken, I think that's how you say her last name. Um, workouts. I do the TNF Studio app, and that's her app, and it's all. Sorry, this ball is like rolling around. 
Um, it's all her workouts. She does them. Um, she's like the voice behind them. I've tried Melissa Wood Health too, but um, I just want to try her workouts and see what they are like and how they are. So the first thing I got are the bangles. And I got two pound bangle weights and they come in this um, little bag, which is nice for traveling, even though they're so heavy. And so I, they come in one pound or two pound, but you can like wrap these around your hands or, or your wrists or your feet or your ankles, I guess. And I wanted something that I could do for both and like have a little bit of a challenge. So I got the two pound. And you literally, they're kind of like heavy. These are like heavy two pound weights. It's hard to show, but you like basically wrap them around like this. I'm wearing a watch, so it doesn't really help, but, and it, they're weighted for sure. So I got those and you can also like wrap them around your ankle and it stretches. Totally. So you can wrap it around your ankle and then you can do like booty exercise workouts. So I got some of those and I'm really excited for my workouts tomorrow morning with these because I've just been doing it body weight. And then I also got the hand weights and these are like heavy. So these are three pound hand weights. I mean, as you can see, everything matches, but, um, and I think these only come in three pound hand weights. So it's gonna be like really nice to use these, but these come in one pound and two pound. They don't come in three pounds, but I like how they come in these like bags that you can like keep them together. So I wanted to share because it just came in on a Sunday, which is weird. I feel like it's kind of weird when FedEx delivers on Sundays. Like I feel like Sunday should be off. It has been probably a little over three hours. I've been editing a video for the past few hours that I'm really excited that I'm done editing it. And I'll be able to post it tomorrow and get back on that every five day upload schedule because I kind of fell off that with the last video and I uploaded it only a day later, it doesn't even matter. But I didn't expect to finish editing it. So it's uploading right now and I'm gonna post it in the morning which is good, and then I can get started on editing the next video. Right now we're going to get some dinner. We're gonna go to Shake Shack for dinner, and then we're gonna go to Publix. I just didn't want a meal prep, so I think we're gonna get some sandwich stuff at Publix, and then that will be our lunches for the week. got home from the grocery store it's about 9 30 so i'm gonna wrap up this vlog i hope you guys enjoyed this little weekend in my life i'm going to shower and get ready for bed <laughs> but i hope you guys enjoyed make sure you're subscribed and i will see you guys in my next video bye